So obviously when you install any app, you're gonna make sure your Wi-Fi your wi is connected and your Bluetooth's on. And we're gonna to go to the App Store now. So you click on the App Store, you do a search for Lego Spike, that'll do, and you can find that there's a few programs for Lego Spike. Uh, there's Lego Spike Legacy, and there's Lego Spike 3. Today we're going to use Lego Spike 3. If you want to know the difference, then watch this video here. There's a link here for you to watch another video I've made about comparing Legacy with Spike 3. But let's assume that you don't want Legacy today, that you just want Spike 3. So let's download that and then open it. Press open, and then you'll notice that it opens pretty much in the same way that the old Spike, any other Spike app that you've opened. Um, and you have a choice between Essential and Prime. Today we're just going to click on Prime and we're going to, it'll remind you that uh, you need the equipment to be able to use the app, that's fair enough. But there's also a reminder that you need to update the hub. So you just press update as you normally would. You turn the brick on, turn your hub on, and then you follow the steps by tapping, uh, tapping on the Bluetooth button. So turn your hub on, hold it in for a second or so, and then hit the Bluetooth button, and then you hit the blue open bubble on the screen there, and you'll notice that it opens up a window of all the hubs that are actually turned on. It might take a few seconds for them to appear. At the moment, there's only one turned on, so it's Lego Hub B. There's a reminder here of whether or not you should update. The main thing is, that your hub won't work with previous Spike app versions. So once you update it, you can't use your old Spike legacy or any other versions of Spike, it won't connect. So that's something you need to consider. And also, if you have saved any of those um, previous files, if you've got other bits of code that you've saved, they'll disappear if you update. So if you have got old code that you love and you don't want to part with, maybe just do some screenshots because it's pretty quick to duplicate it once you once you've got the app installed, isn't it? So this is sped up a bit. It actually takes about four or five minutes to um, update the hub. It seems to stall on 86% for some reason, but I've just cut that bit out. And eventually when it gets to about 94%, your hub turns itself off and it reminds you that you need to turn it back on again by holding the power button in. Now it says 20 seconds. I've found it kind of works for about after about 10 seconds, but if you hold it in, you'll see the Bluetooth lights change color starts off pink and then it starts flashing different colors like blue and green and then eventually your big power button down the bottom turns green so you just got to wait really until that big button turns green when that turns green or if you want to wait 20 seconds you can you just take your finger off you don't need to wait 20 seconds though and then it sort of lights up and turns on and you press done on the screen and then you can, you can connect by using that little window up the top that says reconnect. Um, or you can go into the actual program and click on connect like I have here. Press connect and you'll be able to connect really quickly to your newly updated hub. So you can press reconnect or connect there. Tap on the green one because your button's now green. It asks you to type in a four digit code which is written there in words so just type in the four digit code to prove that you are 18 years or over and click OK if it wants to access your Bluetooth and you'll notice that now as soon as you press the Bluetooth button you press the Bluetooth button it, there's a little connect window that comes up really quickly and if you press connect then almost exactly at the same time you are connected it's really cool because it's really fast give your hub a name like I'm going to call mine Robot B and it's good to uniquely name all your hubs so you can find them easily when you're connecting. And you'll notice now there's a little green tick at the top. If you want to rename it later, you can actually go into that connection tab and up the top left you can see rename and you can change the name later if you want to. If you're still not sure about whether or not you should update, watch this other video which compares Legacy with Spike 3. In the meantime, why not like and subscribe? It'd be great if you could subscribe and check out some of these other videos.